Last chance to get a look at my van before the stitches come out. The little zip ties are being removed and a new bumper's coming. Good morning, everybody. I left Cook Creek a couple of days ago. Sorry, that is actually my back window. There's bugs all over it. I left Cook Creek a day ago and spent a night in town because the bugs were so bad out here. But the bugs are pretty terrible in town too, not as bad as out here. So I came back out. I was actually intending to head to Vancouver. Um, but I had to get a new bumper on my car. The bumper is now fixed. I will show you that in a bit. Uh, but I stayed at a different side of the campground. And it's just really beautiful. I've wanted to stay on this side, but it's not as shady here. I think the bugs are a little less here, but I doubt it because you can kind of see from my windshield how many I killed last night after having the van open just to get into it, excuse me, just to get into it and to open the door again to pay the, um, the camp host. So anyways, it's a beautiful morning. I love being right where I can see the river like this and, uh, I guess that's it for now. Just saying goodbye to my campsite. I won't be at Cook Creek again for quite a while, I guess. I wish I had stayed at this particular spot sooner because, I mean, my van is here and the river is right there. And it's just beautiful. It's just that it's, there's not that much shade. Here, the sun comes up over there and follows the goes along there. So really, there is not that much shade, but it's a beautiful spot. I was glad to be here, and I'm moving on. So when the niece invites you over for lunch at her brand new house, and somebody breaks the what is it? The gas line. Somebody breaks the gas line, so she's got no gas to cook with. The homeless person comes through with her cook stove. So these next couple of clips are just something that was kind of interesting. While well, I was at my niece's place for lunch, they are waiting to get an occupancy permit on the house they just built, and the district won't give it to them because they have to pave their driveway but they're still building the house next door and they don't want to pave the driveway until um, the other house is done because of all the equipment that would be going up the driveway. It would just ruin brand new pavement. So they don't want to do it, but the house next door, the mother-in-law and father-in-law's house, can't be built, uh, finished being built, until um, my niece has her occupancy permit. So... Uh, this is one of the benefits of your father-in-law being a former volunteer fire department person. Um, he's able to convince the fire department to bring their fire truck to the property. And uh, the engineer also from the regional district and show them that it's possible. So that's just what these clips are. I'm on my way to Lillooet, and this is, I believe, the Fraser River. This scenery here is freaking amazing. Like, if you look over there, that mountain is, and I know you can't tell it on the video, but it's gigantic. It just looks massive as you come down the hill down into this lower area that I am in. It's really pretty.
Well, I'm still on the Duffy Lake Road, but I had to pull over to the side. This last stretch that I'm on is downhill. Um, <laughs> it's downhill for miles and miles and miles, and it's long and it's windy, and you got to use your brakes a lot, even if you're going really slow. Well, I started smelling my brakes, um, so I... I thought, well, maybe it's a car in front of me because I thought I was being really good about my brakes. But, um, no, it was me. So I found a pullout and I'm going to sit here for half an hour, or maybe a little longer just to let them cool. I think I'm almost down to the bottom because I can see a lake over there and it looks like fields. I know when I come out to the bottom, um, when I come out to Mount Curry area, it's kind of farmish. So, I th and I think I see, I don't know, you probably can't see it, but the, there's fields down there. So, I'll just sit here for a while and play games on my iPhone until I feel like it's safe to keep going. everybody this is Sam right. and look what he did to me <laughs> get a good look because it'll never look like this again <laughs> Whoops, did I get your face in there too all right Sam at awesome hair salon in Squamish all right. <laughs> this town is awesome this is Squamish I would love to live in one of these apartments facing the Squamish chief and have that as my view. Forgot to show you guys the other day that my bumper got fixed. Now it's all dirty again, but looks good. 